our first stop, Stanley Marsh's Cadillac Ranch. Featuring 10 spray painted Cadillacs buried nose down in a cow pasture, this legendary spot is a popular tourist stop along Interstate 40 and Old Route 66. You can see the Cadillacs off in the distance. We'll head over there in a minute. First, I just wanted to point out here on the barbed wire fence, they have locks posted, just like what we saw down near Marfa, Texas at the Prada installation. That's different. While this our installation might not be anything new to you, it's new to us. We've never stopped here. All the times that we've driven on I-40 Route 66 through this area of Texas, we've never stopped. I'm kind of excited to see this. I know it's only Cadillacs, but still, it's one of those traditions that you have to, you just have to come out and check out when you're down in Texas. You can see the ground's a bit muddy. They got snow the other day. You can actually see some of the snow piled up in areas yet. So it's all melting here. And Leo, who just got a bath, well, Mocha too, but Mocha's black, so it doesn't matter. But Leo's gonna end up looking like a little brown dog instead of white. Well, here are the Cadillacs. They've been painted up many, many, many times over the years. This art installation's been out here since, oh, if I remember correctly, 1974. And actually, this is the second location that it's been at. It originally was started or put up in a wheat field about two miles east of here. But then for whatever reason, they decided to move it to this cow pasture in 1997 and this is where it's been ever since. Interestingly enough, the idea for this came from a children's book that was left in a bar near where Chip Lord and Hudson Marquez lived. These two, along with Doug Michaels, who were all involved in a group called Ant Farm, an artist group, were involved in its creation. And Stanley Marsh? Well, he was the eccentric millionaire whose land they used to put the art installation on. Wow, it's pretty crazy how thick the paint is on here. I know occasionally they come out and just wipe it clean, basically put a clean slate on it by painting it all one color, and then people come back and tag it back up again into these rainbow Skittle-like colors. You know, they got so much paint on here, it's hard to even tell what kind of Cadillac they used to be. Well, there you go. I left my mark, soon to be covered up by somebody else. Well, let's move on. We got plenty more sights to see down here in Amarillo. In case somebody else wants to use it. If you head three miles west down the frontage road that Stanley Marsh's Cadillac Ranch is, you'll find this guy, Pippi the Penguin, hanging out in the field. Pippi's another one of those art installations, and he sits here watching over Interstate 40. Like the good little penguin that he is. Say cheese! Next up, checking out the Second Amendment cowboy at the Cadillac RV Park. If you've been following us for a while here on the Sightseeing Sally channel, you know we've encountered several muffler men over the years. It's Larry the Log Roller. Big Josh is one of the few muffler men that still dot the landscape in the United States. 
but none that look like Larry Hagman. Yep, I think this guy looks exactly like Larry Hagman. Or at least a pretty spinning close image of him. Anyways, you can see he's standing there with his two-gun salute, a tribute to the Second Amendment of the United States of America's Constitution. And then in addition to old muffler man Larry, yeah, I just made that up. You got several old Cadillacs here, much like the ones you see at Stanley Marsh's Cadillac Ranch. Although these look like they've fared better over the years, you could probably even start one of these up. Oh look, you can see that they have people in the driver's seats. How cool is that? And I think one of them might be Willie Nelson. Well, if it ain't Willie, it sure looks like him. Bye, Willie. You'll come back now, you hear? When Marty asked me what I wanted to do to celebrate my birthday, I said I wanted to come to the Big Texan. Where else? You know, the place where you can get yourself a free 72 ounce steak. Of course, he wasn't too amused because he didn't want to put out for $72 steak. Hey Marty, I need some money. You need to video this for me, Sally. I always like these shooting galleries. Are you planning on doing it? No, I'm too cheap. We don't we don't get paid enough. <laughs> Man, it's my birthday. You could at least humor me by kicking out a few bucks so we can line up and do the old shooting gallery together. All right. All right, sightseers, this is going to be fun. Go to credit, 24 shots. The door is on the hundred page. Oh, All the headstones. Watch the stand. Put the vulture up there. You're about as welcome here as a square dance. Let's watch the bell above the undertaker. Fresh eggs. Oh, wires in the way. There we go. The spittoon next to the chicken. Shoot that inside the saloon. The lantern on the saloon. Did nothing. I think he missed at least one or two, don't you think? My turn. Let's see who does better. Let's see if she's a dead eye. What are you shooting at? Start with the skunk. Oh, look at him. <laughs> Spray and stop. <laughs> I tried that, I couldn't get it. I think the eye isn't working. 
Cowboy boots are moving. shooting a donkey when all that stuff happened. Get the skunk again, that was funny. Right. And you, oh, I thought you missed it. Oh, you didn't do it this time. Guess you're out of points. Probably better than me. And you all thought I couldn't hit the broad side of a barn, sightseers. Guess I fooled you. Anyways, as you can see, sightseers, this is quite the establishment. Not just a place where you can get a steak, but a place where you can have some old-fashioned fun. This is such a popular attraction, they even have a hotel here. Ooh, I see something here that trips my fancy. Too bad my wallet went back to the truck. Wah, wah, wah. Opening in March of 1960, the Big Texan has been serving up Texas-sized steaks and providing world-famous entertainment for over 64 years. What I want to give for one of their world-famous steaks. Moving on. We're now over on historic Route 66 here in Amarillo and old Eagle Eye Marty spotted something. Can you guess what it was? Can I get a drum roll please? It was the circus room. That's where I'm taking Sally for her birthday. We get to use the side entrance, check it out. Nice. <laughs> God, I love Marty. I thought he said that he thought cl clowns were creepy. Instead he wants to bring me to the <gasps> circus room for my birthday. I'm gonna go wah, 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 wah.
This is what I thought we'd be looking at. Some old memorabilia related to Route 66. Look at the old Coke cooler up by the door. Nothing but the skeleton, but it's in still decent shape. He also has some really neat old vehicles behind the fence. Over at the corner of McMaster's and West 6th Street, you'll find the historic Amarillo US 66 sign. And then directly across the street, you'll find a few more signs commemorating the old mother road. This is where basically you'll find a lot of the old historic buildings. For example, Blue Bonnet Hill here is on the National Register of Historic Places. You can see this section is really geared towards the tourists as there are antique stores and art galleries all around this area. Now here's something reminiscent of old historic Route 66. Marty, you want to say something about that sign? That's the stuff up there that I like when I look for Route 66. Not all the repainted junk that's turned into tourist traps, but all the old existing signs like that. I don't know what it said at one time, but you know, with the horse on, it might have been the El Camino Club, I don't know, but that's kind of a cool old sign. They're all going to the wayside. You don't see many anymore. Marty, look behind you. It's Scooby and the gang. One of these days we got to find an old VW bus and have it painted up like that. Yeah, that would be like the most awesome birthday gift ever. <laughs> if you're paying for it. <laughs> wah, 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 wah. Of course, I wouldn't expect anything less than an old Route 66 sign pasted on the side of Amarillo's water tower. Here's another old building from back in the day. Does anybody recognize this place? One last site along Route 66 here in Amarillo that I want to point out, and that is this. An old gas station, minus its pumps. Talk about a classic. I can picture the old cars lined up waiting to get their gas now. 